There's nothing for you to worry about, believe me. Nothing I can't handle. I've just got to keep out of Paphos for a few weeks. You know anywhere? Yes. My cousin Andonis. He has a garage. He lives alone. We could go there. David Collier is very important to me. Paul! You just have to trust me. Trust the three of us. Why? Because I ask you to. And because you really have no other choice. And that's how you got the 50,000 pounds. No, that's how Barry got it. But just two stones. I've got to find a buyer for the stuff. If I find someone who is interested, without something to show them, they will not even begin to negotiate. That was friend Collier. He wants to talk to me. I haven't even got a suspicion as to what Barry might have been into. Not a clue. But with that kind of a payoff, it has to have been something big. Mm. I don't even like to think about it. Well, it sure is one hell of a story. You don't believe me either, do you? On the contrary. I believe everything you told me. You do? <laughs> Why would you come here and lie to me? What's in it for you? And you're not crazy. I'd lay odds on that. Thank you. That's reassuring. It's been suggested. So you said. By the police. And others. <laughs> well, you just forget it, huh? Okay, so what you told me sounds pretty wild, but you're as sane as I am. These things happened exactly the way you spelled them out. I accept that. At last. Well, now, we have a lot to do if we're going to solve these riddles and tie up all the loose ends. Then we'll turn the whole shebang over to Inspector Demas and watch him squirm, huh? Look, I know I said I needed your help, and I do, but I can't drag you into a mess like this. I don't have the right. Now, you listen here, David. If you think you can come to me with an intriguing tale like that, and then expect me just to stand idly by and not do everything I damn well can to help you, then you are crazy. I'm in, David. You're stuck with me. And you sure as hell do need me. I've got the time and the financial resources and the manpower for just this kind of operation, so no arguments, right? <laughs> okay, no arguments. Good. So, where do we go from here? We dig, we dig deep. Now, this woman, Helene, and her friends, what were their names again? Harolambos and Basilios. Mm -hmm. Basilios, is he the bandit character? Well, he looks like one. A poacher, anyway, that's for certain. A poacher? And you're totally in the dark as to what their interest is in all this? Totally. Except it's pretty obvious that Helene and Barry had something going for each other. Could be she's just out to nail his murderer, and these two are helping her. Do you really believe that? Oh, that's a possibility, an explanation. <laughs> well, it may be, but I sure as hell don't buy it. If all that lady wants is to see justice done, then why doesn't she talk to Inspector Demas? And why is she playing hide-and-go-seek with you? She says she can't get involved with the police, that none of them can. And I say, why? Well, it has to be because she's scared. They're all three of them scared. Yeah, scared of what? Who knows? Maybe of winding up in jail themselves. Oh, no, they haven't exactly been acting like law-abiding citizens now, have they? But it was Helena who gave me the briefcase with the 50,000 pounds in it. Well, and how long did you keep it, huh? Now, she told you herself. She was... The only one who knew that she was planning on giving it to you. Except Harolambos. Exactly. 
But that's ridiculous. Why give me the money and then try to rob me of it? Smokescreen, maybe? To cover what? Their own implication, perhaps. Now, are you suggesting that whatever Barry and Morrison were into, that Helene and the others were in it with them? Well, not with them, but, uh, well, how about in opposition? That is a possibility, too, isn't it? And that's what we're dealing in here, possibility. Like, it's also just possible that it was Helene or one of her friends who killed your brother. My God. That thought never occurred to you? Not that they were trying to murder Barry, no. Mm, well, you just hold on to it. It might just save your neck sometime. Now, where do they hang out, these three? I have no idea. Helene told me last night she'd be in touch. No, oh, I'll bet. Well, why don't we just flush them out first, huh? As I see it, for starters, we get alongside Morrison. He's the one who can answer the $64,000 question. Mm -hmm. Just uh, what kind of a racket were he and uh, Barry operating, if it was a racket? And if not, how do they put their hands on a small fortune in Swiss francs? The rest we can take from there. Yes, I agree. Any idea as to Morrison's whereabouts? Well, no, the construction site, that's for sure. He's officially on leave. Uh, he's got a girlfriend, I understand. He could be with her, I suppose, but then he could be anywhere. It's a pretty big island. Yeah, well, then it's hunt the possum time. And for that, we need to bring in the hounds. Travis and Olson, they can handle it. They've got the right kind of background. Yes, I can believe that. Can you give me a description of Morrison? I can do better than that. I've got a photograph. Oh. There. Oh, this will be a big help. Uh, can I keep this? Yes, sure. What is this? I haven't the faintest idea. It uh, looks like some kind of inscription. I imagine it's from one of the archaeological sites here. Oh, could be. Yeah, have you any idea what it says? No, it's not my line of country. Wall carvers will be prosecuted, maybe. <laughs> well, now, I'll just give this to Travis and Olson and get them started immediately on tracking him. And what do you want me to do? Relax. Let my hounds do the running around. The first sign we're getting anywhere near close to Morrison, and I'll be in touch immediately. Okay. You can count on it. In the meantime, just take it easy. Unwind a little. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm giving a little party tomorrow night at the Asteria Beach Hotel. Now, there are quite a few interesting people coming. And I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't at least one or two unattached and uh, very attractive young ladies present. So oh. how about it, huh? About eight? You've just made me an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> Great. Olson, will you see that uh, the tender takes Mr. Collier ashore? Right, sir. Well, until tomorrow night, then. Well, thank you, Mr. Hellman. What can I say? Eugene, okay? Just okay. Uh, watch your step. Right. Oh, was he... Uh... Cooperative? Extremely. Not even realizing it. David Collier is a very confused young man. What's his play? Where does he figure in this? Oh, he doesn't. He's clean. A child wandering in the wilderness. He knows nothing, but he did come up with a lead. Eric Morrison. Well, that's the guy Collier was fighting with in Paphos. That's right. I want you to find him. He's the real key to the whole operation. And while you're looking for him, there are three other people you need to run a check on. Call you as clean, you say, Mr. Hellman. As an antiseptic. But uh, then why didn't he call the police when he found me searching his hotel room, huh? Why did he chop me and then just dump me back into my car out cold? He didn't. Not that I asked him, but I'm pretty sure he didn't. There has to have been someone else in that room. Who? Well, that's one of the things we're going to find out. And if Collier's in the clear, then who was on the other end of that rifle last night? Would you believe, uh... A poacher. How long will you be away? A while. This cave, is it far from here? Fair distance. Be careful. I am.
chose of the way. Absolutely no idea where Mr. Morrison is. If any start tell us. Have you tried his home? Mm. No luck though. Nobody home. Well, he's on holidays. I suppose he could be anywhere. He might even have gone to Athens. He's done that before. He didn't say what his plans were. No. And you didn't ask. None of my business. His girlfriend, uh what's her name? Yes. Uh, he could be with her, I suppose. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. Yeah, well, uh, thanks anyway, Mr. Priest. Is it important that you find him? Not that important. No, it's just that, uh, well, the three of us invested in a lottery ticket. Would you believe it? The number came up, so we want to settle with him. Lucky man. Yeah, no complaints from us either. I mean, it's not a fortune, but a third of something's better than all of nothing, right? It certainly is. And a very pleasant surprise for him to come back to. If I see him first, I'll tell him you called. You're, uh... The bringers of good nerves, wouldn't you say? We'll leave a note for him at his place. Thanks again. See you.
Um, this man, have you seen him? This man. Hmm? Uh, this man, have you seen him? You expect privacy, right? Right. Sorry, I thought you wanted to know. I found a buyer. This buyer? How did you find him? Oh, it was easy. I just spoke to a few people I knew and gave them a hint of what was on offer. Just a hint, no more. And then, in less than one hour, someone made contact. Who? Um, an agent for a big spender. A man who is in the market for exactly such things as you wish to dispose of. What's his name? Who does he work for? Such confidences we did not exchange. There'll be a trap. The police, maybe. No. The man I spoke to comes recommended. By who? My friends, of course. That's why they sent him to me. They are careful, these ones. They have to be. You are sure? Of course, I'm sure. It's all right. Cash? In the hand, on delivery. But first... He wants to see the quality of the merchandise. Did you bring something to show? Oh, my friend. My friend. 
my friend. So when do I get to see this fellow? Tonight. You will meet us tonight. Us? Of course. The meeting place. It's a bit out of the way. And uh, I would not want you to get lost. Your partner is over there. I understand you have brought something to show me. Well? Good. 
And there is more like this, you say? Much more. Jewels, statues, many things. And all very old. Mm -mm. Comparatively modern. Third century BC. Are you interested? Personally? No. But then I'm only an intermediary. An agent. I have little doubt, however, that my employer would be most interested. In the lot? Everything? Almost certainly. See? Then I tell you. Payment would be in cash? Naturally. How much? For this? No, no, for everything. An appraisal would be necessary of the individual items. Only then could an offer be made. But I, I'd have to take you to the cave. Mm -hmm. Together with my employer. How do I know I can trust you? Or your employer? You don't. But then perhaps you have another buyer in mind. Someone you do trust? How much just for that? You're crazy! Shut up. My employer does not deal in bits and pieces. All or nothing. You wish, perhaps, to think about it, to try elsewhere? I will contact you in, say, uh, two or three weeks from now. I can't wait that long. So? All right. Everything. Good. You realize, of course, that before taking the matter any further, my employer will first need to see this. Shall we go? Where? Limassol. But can't he come to see me? It's the salesman who travels, not the buyer. The mountain never did go to Mohammed. Believe me. Look, you don't understand. I've got problems. I can't get around much. If you say so. Your associate, then. Yes, sir, I can go. You? Gentlemen, I am sorry, but I'm expected elsewhere on other business, so, uh... So what's the problem? I will go with him and bring the answer back to you at the garage. All right. You got your car. Give me your keys. I'll wait up for you. And if you double-cross me. Let's see if I go with drive. I'm tired. I'm going to be late. I must telephone and explain. Uh, park over there. I won't be a minute. OK.
kelima Is this your car? Yes. Well, no, not mine. It doesn't actually belong to me. No, it doesn't. Because the owner reported it missing from outside his house in Larnaca this afternoon. What owner? Out! But you've made a mistake. This car belongs to a friend of mine. Ask him. So where is he then? Making a telephone.
was not an accident. Your brother was murdered. Harlan was special. It's the herbs, you know. <laughs> the herbs. Γεια σου! Αγάπη μου εσύ! Μάνα μου εσύ! Λοιπόν, τι ακριβώς είπε ο Αντώνης όταν έκανε. Ερικ, έχω πει ότι είπε ότι είπε χρόνια. Και πείτε μου άλλο. Είπε ότι είχε αρκετήσει για να πήγαινε ένα κάρτο. Κάτι άλλο, είπε ότι 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 είπε. He was speaking from a police station. Well, I'll lose out again. Go right. Here. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, shut up, What about Andonis? He could end up in prison, and for something he did not do. He should have been more careful. But the moment I saw him, I didn't trust that smooth-talking ponce he came up with. Then you should have gone with him to Limassol. How could I? I'd have been sticking my neck right out, wouldn't I? All right. But don't blame Andonis. He was only trying to help. He was in for his cut. I see. And you were doing it for charity. At least you're not in jail. Here. Here. He won't talk, will he? Antonis. And land himself in even worse trouble. Are you crazy? So he's fine, then. Driving a vehicle without the owner's consent. The most he'd get for that is a fine. I've lost the necklace. We have lost the necklace. We! OK. So we've all been robbed. And we're right back where we started from. Here. See who that is.
for you. Me? You also me, Vanna? He just said the English one. Yeah. Hello? Yes? Look, what the hell's going on? Just what kind of game are you playing? Yeah. What happened last night? Yeah, but I still like to know what... Yeah, okay, I'm listening. Where? Yeah, I've got it. Oh, well, I don't have much choice, do I? What did he say? They ought to go to church. Over here, please. You are late. Wasn't easy finding this place. Where's the man I met last night? I know nothing of that. I was merely asked to pass on a message to you. What is it? Do you ever pray? Pray? And what's that got to do with anything? Do you? Well, it's been a long time. It is never too late. And who knows when one may be called to account for one's life. Yeah, well, I'll bear that in mind. Now, what's the message? Well, I must first ask you another question. still wish to sell? Of course I do. Do you? Yes. Yes. I felt certain that would be your answer. <sighs> what is it? <laughs> it is nothing. It is just my thigh. Very well, then. Tonight, you meet the buyer tonight. Now, listen. Yes, he will be there.
good.